Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to set up push notification on your WordPress website using a plugin. We are going to be trying out one signal for this video. So we start off with our WordPress website and want you to quickly go to plugins and search for one signal. Now this is a simple install and activate plugin. So we're going to go ahead with that. So let's click on manage plugin. Now in your control panel on the left, you will see the one signal push tab there. You can click that. Now the setup won't be complete. You've just installed the plugin. For this, you'd first have to go to onesignal.com and, and sign up for your OneSignal account. Let's go ahead, agree to the terms of service and create an account. OneSignal asks you to choose a plan. I'm going to begin with the free one, which does not cost me anything. Email will be sent to the email ID you've just used to create the account. You will need to verify to proceed. OneSignal will gather some information about your website and yourself and what are your goals. Let's just go ahead and fill this up too. Now there are multiple channels that OneSignal offers, but we are going to be limiting this video to simply push notifications. Now, in the quick start guide from OneSignal, you can set up push notification as the messaging channel. Now, in push notification itself, there are multiple channels. Let's set it up for web. Now, you are going to get three options here to choose from. One is a typical site, which would be a self-hosted site where all the code is custom written. The other is the WordPress site for which plugins are available. And as you know, we've already installed a WordPress plugin. And the third would be custom code. Now, since we are on WordPress, let's go ahead and select WordPress as the option. In case you're using a different CMS other than WordPress, say for example, Magento, Joomla or Drupal, you can select that appropriately. If you're also using a different system that has an integration with OneSignal, you can also select it. Now, this setup guide also offers you the option to add a default icon URL. I wouldn't be adding it since I don't have it handy, but if you have a bell icon that you would want to use for your notifications, you can go ahead and upload it here. Now there's also an option to upload a Safari certificate. Now this is only needed if you are looking to target users that are using Safari 15 or older. At this point, I'm just starting off and it's unlikely that my users are going to come from older versions of the browser. So I'm not going to accept that. So in the fourth step here, we have three different keys. We have the app key, the API key, and the Safari web ID. Now all this will need to be pasted in the WordPress plugin. For that, I need you to go back to your WordPress and click on configuration in the one signal push tab. Now once you've done that, there are multiple other options that's also available in the configurator. One would be to automatically prompt new users uh, with a prompt. Now this is something that one signal recommends that you enable. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it. There are multiple others that you can check and change uh, settings as well. I'm going to leave it to the default one. Now in this setup guide, you can see that there are multiple configuration options that's available. I would want you to sit, take your time through it and set it up since it is highly personal and it's going to differ from website to website. So this is what the default notification prompt would look like. You do have the option to go ahead and customize the text. I would recommend that you customize it so that it is different and it is in line with the character of your website. You can also set up UTM parameters for push notifications. So this will help you understand where the traffic is coming from. When you add a UTM tracking parameter, when you look at your traffic in say Google Analytics, for example, you will be able to determine what amount of traffic came from push notifications. You can also drill it down to a particular campaign. So these UTM parameters will help you decipher where your traffic is coming from. And in case you would want to do that, this is the setting where you'll have to add these parameters. Once everything is in order, let's hit save and proceed. Now, since the plugin page on WordPress has been saved, let's go ahead to OneSignal and check if our integration is correct. I highly recommend that you do this step. This ensures that all the API keys that you have pasted are correct and OneSignal is getting data of your subscribers. So you go to our website, 
we should get yes should get a pop up right now we'll go ahead hit allow hit allow again since i'm on safari and just like that i have become a subscriber of this website your subscribers will see something similar and now as you can see you've got the green tick here your one signal installation is configured correctly so now that the setup on one signal is complete uh, my initial observation is that the process for setup is slightly lengthy compared to the other push notification service that we have set up on the website which is from isoto we found it to be slightly easier with isoto there one signal is slightly longer the process does take some time so i'd like you to test both of them out and pick one that suits your needs now with one signal configured let's go ahead and send our first push notification for this we'll go to one signal sign into our dashboard click on messages select new message push specifically and over here you can add a campaign name so for example if you are publishing an article on social media platforms that's what i'm going to do so you're going to input that name so that you know what it is so let's put first push since it's the first push notification that i'll be sending on the website I'll grab a url i'm not going to change any of the advanced settings but as you can see this is what the notification would look like you have the option to send a test notification or you can also send one out immediately i'm going to send one out immediately and as you can see you get like a report of what is going to happen next the push notification is going to be sent to the amount of recipients in my case it's only me who subscribe to the website it's going to send to all the subscribers it's going to target different website platforms and it also has the copy for the push notification let's hit send message go ahead as you can see i've got this notification in the notification panel on the mac itself so that's it it was the first notification i've sent we received it as well so i hope this helps you guys set up push notifications on your wordpress website especially one signal if you're looking at that i hope you find this helpful goodbye